everybody, and welcome to the first show that I have decided to put on for you gentlemen. This is Vaughn, your current champion, and I just wanted to, uh, you know, put a little video together for the week, uh, last week and uh, this week to come. Now, I am going to be doing this all free, for, uh, free flowing, so if there is going to be some missteps, then, well, good for you. You get to see all the little warts involved, but uh, yeah, this is uh, just going to be a little bit of a fun time to uh, kind of recap what we did last week and hopefully uh, give you a good little preview for next week as well. But uh, as you can see, uh, we're here at my home. I got my awesome baker uh, Mayfield poster right there in the background along with my cowboy gear. You gotta represent. But uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and talk about last week. Uh, so last week, I would say the best game that we had was, well, there were two. But um, the one that everyone was talking about in the chat was Connor and Jack's match. And honestly, it looked like... Uh, Jack was going to pull out the upset. We had the Camara and uh, uh, Brown go to having just really bad games. AJ Brown, that is. And it really opened up the door for Jack to maybe pull something out of it. However, it just didn't come to fruition. AJ Dillon, as much as you would love to see him be a big guy and uh, put up some points, it was the Aaron Jones show. And, uh, well, that's a great segue into our next game, which was David and Cameron. And, my God, I have to say, that is one of the worst bad beats I've seen all year. What was it? 38.5 points. And at the end of the day, he only needed, uh, what was it, 38.3. So, congratulations, David. You are blessed by the fantasy gods, at least in this league for now. And uh, that was very impressive. Very impressive win, sir. Um, I guess let's go to the next game. Uh, that's going to be me and Pietro's. Uh, honestly, I was a little nervous coming into that one. However, Kyler and the Yeti, they just did what they had to do. And after that, there really wasn't any looking back. I will say there was a little bit of Aaron Rodgers there at the end that kept it respectable. But for the most part, I think I was winning by 100 at that point. So it was uh, pretty much in the bag. So luckily, I wasn't sweating it. However, that was this was the only league that I got a victory in out of my four leagues. So I went one for four. So... Uh, next game we got is uh, Kenny and Paul's. Well, uh, it was a blowout. I mean, there really wasn't a lot to do. Paul, you're rebuilding. I mean, it's just kind of got to take your lumps. Uh, and Kenny, let's just say, man, he's uh, he's coming to play this year, and that's gonna be a that's gonna be a tough out for anyone who gets to play him. Uh, the last match we had was uh, oh, where was it? Looks like it was. David and Jack, no, nope, that was this week's. So, like I said, you're going to see all the warts involved. Josh and Kenny, here we go. Um, there uh, is no, oh, did I miss that one? Might have missed that one. Where is Josh? Oh, Josh and Matt, there it is. Disappointing starts for the QB1 and RB1. For Matt, however, I mean, he pulled it out. Josh, you need to pick up your game, man. I'm just saying, you gotta, uh, you gotta get back in this thing, and uh, we're gonna make it happen for you. But uh, yeah, uh, Matt, you have got a solid team, man, and it's you're another one. You and Kenny both. I'm just not looking to forward to playing against both of you guys. Uh, however, next week uh, we're going on to the next week, and. Brrr, the champions get to play each other, and I am so excited to take you down uh, this week, Connor. This is going to be fun. Uh, you know, I hate to see CMC going down like that a little bit. But, <laughs> no, really, I had him in the middle of the league. That sucks that he goes down. You never want to see anyone get hurt. However, for this week, it does look like it's going to play to my favor. Uh, it does look like he got five solid points from him, and uh, that does open the door for me to actually beat you with your tremendous starting lineup. So uh, we'll see if I can pull it out. It's going to be a fun one nonetheless. And, but, yeah, we're going to see how that one plays out. The next best game, in my opinion, is going to be the David and Jack's game. 
Uh, this game has all the intrigue of being the game of the week, honestly. Uh, both are projected at tw uh, 128 points, and David uh, has been rallying his uh, relying on the fantasy gods to get him the Ws. Honestly, how do you win by less than a point two weeks in a row? It's going to come full circle, my friend, so be ready for that. And uh, know that it's probably going to be uh, Jack's week this week. He's 0-2, and, and I think he is going to pull it out. So uh, we're going to see what happens there. But, uh, yep, my prediction, Jack takes it up. Uh, Cayman and Pietro's game is next, and it looks like uh, Cook started out on fire. Who knew the Texans were going to be that good? Honestly, if you were to ask me at the beginning of the season what uh, kind of opportunity they had there would have been no shot i would have said that uh texans just garbage and uh it's gonna be bad although it looks like the jags took that mantle and uh they are gonna be the ones struggling and texans well good luck to you yeah houston you are the armpit of texas so good luck um but with that being said uh the game is Still going to be close. I am calling for Pietro's team to go off this week, though, and get, if not the highest, one of the top two or three highest scoring points in the league this uh, this week. I think Saquon's about to have a monster game. I also think Devontae Smith's going to probably do something against my Cowboys, which I'm not excited about that, but I think Cowboys are still going to pull out the victory Monday night. Does anyone else disagree? Please let me know, because that would be... Um, uh, Philly, Philly special if they did. All right, and the last two games we got Josh and Kenny. Um, no Thursday night players for them, so we can have a clean slate. Cooper and Sanders will decide the fate of this game on Monday night, though. Uh, that is uh, what I think is going to happen. I do think uh, Cooper will get probably one touchdown. Sanders probably going to get another touchdown as well. So, But I do have this one close. I do think Josh uh, uh, keeps it close with Kenny, and I do believe that it's going to be within 10 points, maybe 5 points. Uh, but I do have Kenny getting the victory on this one. Uh, and the last matchup that we have, I believe, yes, is uh, Paul and Matt. And it does look like we can all agree, man, Matt, your team looks awesome, man. I don't know. You've done a lot of work here in the off season and in the uh, season before. And it is, you're looking like a powerhouse, my friend. Uh, and Paul, well, I mean, that's just part of the rebuild, Betty. But, uh, yeah, you're uh, you're putting all the right pieces together. You're getting all the uh, draft picks where they need to be, and I think you're going to be a force to be reckoned with here in the next season or two. Uh, but that is what I have for you on the uh, games coming up. We do have some waiver moves that happened, and uh, there really wasn't that much going on. The big money item on this week's was Sam Darnold for a full $10. I did try to get him myself for zero dollars. Didn't happen. Uh, Connor, you said you tried to put in eleven. Uh, okay, well, we'll we'll have to see that next time. Um, but Paul, you uh, you might have a future star quarterback there, so I'm excited to see how that plays out. Um, you do got, uh, I think you have Rodney, uh, Robbie Anderson, so hopefully he starts picking up his game a little bit, and that way we can see that going. But, man, DJ Moore. Let's just talk about that guy for a second. He is a beast. Ah, I had got him in my redrafts of leagues this year, and I think he scored me 20 points in both. So, uh, definitely, I think, uh, yeah, I think, Matt, you have him. And, oh, boy, <laughs> he's going to be something special. Uh, other moves included, uh, honestly, these guys aren't really worth talking about. Uh, uh, Demetric Fulton uh, for Matt for $5. Rashad Penny for Jack for $2. Donovan People Jones, which I think is going to be the Browns' number two receiver. Uh, it's too bad for Rashad Higgins. I thought that was going to come full circle, but looks like People's Jones is going to be the guy. And uh, who is that? Oh, yeah, the new uh, San Francisco running back, Tritton Cannon, uh, to Pietro, and he got him over Matt for nothing. So, congratulations. I love it when that happens. Um, unfortunately, we didn't have any spectacular uh, uh, bids this week, like Eliza Mitchell for $83. Oh, 
dollars of fab and nine nine people bidding on them so uh that was crazy i i thought that was really cool though uh but uh yeah i mean congratulations on getting them but yeah goodbye fab but uh but yeah, that's gonna be it for this week. Hopefully, I will have some time to do this. I am in a uh, in a career where I am hopefully gonna be able to put one of these together once a week. If anyone wants to join me and uh, put one together as well, that would be awesome. Love the camaraderie. Uh, this league has been super awesome, and uh, yeah, I really hope to uh, keep this thing going. Well, uh, this uh, that's it for me this week, and uh, hope to see you next time.